Hey, what's up guys and welcome, welcome back to more Fever 16 Potential Silver Beast and it, well, in today's list we could quite possibly see one of the best, if not the best ever, silver centre backs that is going to be on Fever 16 Ultimate Team. It's disgusting and hopefully these videos do help you out, maybe keep you in the know with what players will be downgraded to silver as it is sort of potential and maybe if you do pack them at the start you can make some coins or keep hold of them and don't sell them and wait for a couple of weeks and their price will rise so a bit of trading tips for you guys uh yeah if you are needing some ultimate team coins though before we start make sure to check out fifa ultimate team coins links in the description go use my code fuji for five percent off and if you need game codes or anything game related check out g2a for psn xbox live the best time to buy is now go use my code to fuji 3% off that site as well. So we're going to start off with the first player and it is Braithwaite. A lot of people thought he was going to be like the cheap Barbo on FIFA 15. Never really kicked it off. I've tried him a couple of times and I still stick by that I prefer Lacazette for the Liga uh, own striker but he's not bad you know. Four star skills, four star weak foot. The only downfall with his card is that he's got high to high work rates but with his uh, a head to head stat being changed and dropped to a 74 I think this silver card will be be very very nice it sort of reminds me a little bit like muru you know some balanced stats there good pace great dribbling check him out when he comes out check him out when he comes out yeah keep an eye on him so we have van ginkel up next from stoke city i think he was he was at um milan but i think it was just a loan from chelsea and now he's been loaned out to stoke or is that a permanent deal i'm not really too sure if anyone knows let me know in the comment section but he's a he's a real talent pure talent a uh, good youngster coming through uh six foot one great pace a uh, good height especially and yeah he's just an absolute beast he looks like very nice sort of holding center mid and he's gonna be expensive boys very very expensive so if i'm not mistaken up next we have morales who used to have four star skills on FIFA 14 I want to say I'm not entirely sure and he used to be the cheap Messi now he got downgraded on FIFA 15 if he can bring maybe the four star skills back we could see the silver Messi once again look at these stats and he is gonna be good you know you know he's gonna be good nice agility low center of gravity quick fast it's messy like so hopefully ea do actually upgrade his skills a little bit but no i've kept it to what the actual head-to-head -head ratings say and he's uh, and he's a three-star skiller oh my god there he is the beast himself onua what no this isn't right boys this isn't right what a time to be alive i honestly feel that this could be the best ever silver center back we will ever see on any fifa like anua he's been incredible throughout every single fifa this card 83 pace which will be something similar like this how much is he going to be worth what is he going to be price capped at and do you feel he's going to be the best silver center back on the game let me know your thoughts in the comment section but wow monster can't wait. So we have Salping Gidis up next and the downfall with this card, you probably know it already. And it's the league. Like stat wise, it will probably be similar to this. Maybe his pace will be dropped uh, slightly because of his age. You know what FIFA are like when people start hitting over 30, they do drop their uh, pace a bit. But anything sort of similar to that, it's going to be a decent well-rounded card. But like I say, league, uh -uh, really bad. Oh, right. So there are quite a few options popping up now in the right back position in the Syria and I'm thinking that Syria is going to be the time for silvers feet for 16 Syria but now we've got Desiglio here with the uh well, th that card looks terrific. Let's face it. I love the look of just like, I guess, the 74 with the clean stats and just the look of the card. It looks like a Abate. And I wonder what's going to happen with Abate. I haven't actually checked to see what he... I think he's a gold, actually. I think I did go past him. I think he is a gold. So he's going to probably replace Abate for me. And it's a nice little change. You know, he's six foot. He's sort of got similar stats looks good so the last player on the list who has had a huge upgrade from when he started off as a bronze received himself a team of the season and it is Tolisso great card 73 rated and he's going to be usable now although he was good as a bronze team of the season actually he was pretty damn good uh, but he, no one really wanted to use him because he was bronze but now he's a silver with these sort of stats and, and his overall rating it's more inviting to want to bring him into the side so definitely Tolisso he looks incredible 
incredible. And guys, those are some more players updated for you. So keep an eye out. If you pack them, don't sell them straight away because you won't get sort of the max profit. And uh, if you are sort of like going on the market and you're wanting to maybe like pick up a few bargains and that, look out for these because at the start, everyone's going to be opening packs and you may even be able to pick yourself up some uh, cheeky deals. So if it does help, please do drop a like and I'll be getting more videos out very, very soon. And yeah, Team Fuji, Fujitas, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Peace.